Hello everyone and welcome back to Nightingale Plays Factorio. Buses, planes, trains, and automobiles. So I did a uh, little bit of thinking after the last episode and realized there's a far better way to do this with just side loading rather than trying to use the uh, the splitters. Um, just then I don't need to use silly underground belt things and loop back. So this is only too tall above the splitters versus this one over here is one, two, three, four. And down here we've got one, two, three. Uh, no, one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three. So, yeah, much, much more effective. I've saved uh, four, four squares overall. So that'll allow us to move the next set of rails up by one, which might be enough to fit a, a third in. Maybe I'm hoping so. Um, and you know what? If not, then well, we could move these down, but that, that gets tricky. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. And maybe not three for this one, but maybe what we can do is move everything down somewhere over here and there'll be more room. I don't know, hard to say. Anyway, we, we bust down our, uh, our stone and now we need to get to using it. So let's make some space. Um, so stone in the main bus is just gonna be one-sided. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down. And we're going to do a single side of, uh, where are they, steel furnaces. So just 10. I'm just going to put here. And eventually go down there. Uh, research, research. Anything that we wanted. It's radar. Oh, okay. Red signs. Got to do our, our red science things, get those out of the way. Okay. So we'll get... Uh, you're going to come down here. Yeah, that works. So what we're going to do is we're just going to join up a couple things onto here. The other, of course, is going to be our coal. All right, that looks right. So you can skip to there, go there, there, and finish off the belt. All right, so everything's going in. We need more inserters. We need some assembly machines. Do ten of those, and we're going to be out of oh, out of iron. That's not big, not a huge deal. Okay, so I don't really want to be carrying this stone around. So let's ditch that. And get our inserters going. So the plan here is to get our uh, our brick production, and then after that, uh, after that, we're actually going to do railway and concrete production just right here. So we're just gonna put the outputs of this just somewhere, somewhere close by, just into a box, which eventually will be into the logistics system. But for now, it's just going to be sitting around and I'll have to run over again. So Bob's Mods has lovely pumps, which if are placed right, to allow you to take some water out of the ground. Nice and simple. Okay, so this kind of actually want to have access to two of these. I think I might only really need one realistically, but just in case. Okay, so let's fix all this up. So I get output from either of these furnaces. That, that should be plenty, I would think. Okay, so hook it up to power. It gets water. It also needs iron ore. And then we're also going to want to bust down these stone because we're going to do railway right below this. So do I want to combine them on one belt? Maybe I should just do that. No, ah, too much effort. That's iron. Here we will have our stone. 
Or, yeah, that's gonna be stone. You go away. Okay, skip, skip, skip. That looks good. Why are you... have so much shaking from that side? Oh, because that's the way the side loader is going. That makes sense. Okay, um... So get these two down. And you should now be able to do some massive... Concrete production. Great. So where's the best place to output them? I could put them... You know what? We have a path up here. We might as well make use of it. Get it as close to the path as possible. I will hypothetically be walking along the path. Um, I'm going to use lots of concrete. I'm going to go on a paving spree. Let's do 15. So this allows electronic assembly machine 2. I don't know how much green science I have available to be produced at the, the other spot. But uh, let's just go until our science stalls out. I really need to get local science production going. Um, but there's really not that much I want to research that isn't blue. So I kind of can afford to maybe wait for blue science. Okay, so let's leave some space. Where am I going to output this stuff? I could actually output it back up to the path as well. But I don't need this stuff very often, and I got long reach. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one here, one here. This can be straight rail. This can be curved rail. And I just realized we also need iron sticks and steel. That is... So I've got the stone, and that's actually all I've got. So I need to get steel up here and iron sticks. So this does not need to continue at all. So you can go as far as that. Okay, so what do we? What are the ratios here? Um, lots of steel, lots of stone, lots of iron sticks, lots of s hmm, lots of everything, and it goes pretty quick. That's for curve rail, and this one's the same thing, except it's only one of each. So we're not going to be having anything on this side. Okay, see, outputs are going to be here. I'm just going to have to put the steel and the iron sticks together, I guess. So you can actually produce these sticks. It's going to be intermediate products. And the sticks take... So should I do the sticks directly or in on a belt? Um, I want to keep it tight horizontally, so I'm just going to go... <clears throat> We're going to go like this and put one directly in. And the other one can go on a belt. No, oh, but I need... Yeah, the, the belt will then have steel on one side and... Uh, sticks in the other. So you need a lot of these, so I guess you're going to get preference. That's not a huge deal. So we need, uh, let's say, four of these and two of these. And put that right here, and that should be good to power everyone up. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to need some iron coming up to you. So you got the iron. Next we wanted some steel. So skip over that. Loop you back around. No, 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 no. Got it. Nope, didn't get it. Copper can go there. Steel is back. Balance our iron back out. Um, nothing missing. Bit messy. Yep, looks good. Except for the copper, I... I'm still getting copper. Why am I getting copper? Oh, the copper's side-loading here. Okay.
No wonder. There we go. Much better. Hmm. I guess I should have just had it, uh... Which way is going? It's going down, but it doesn't need to go that far. It's how far. Long inserter. Oh, and our power is... Oh, that's because I don't need you there. But our power is still going to be a little bit shy. That's fine. I'll just go there. There. Nope. There. I really should maybe look at the uh, the better holes as well. I think that needs brass or something like that. I don't think I even have the tech for it. No, I don't. Is that here? Uh, no. So, distribution electric poles two. I could research it. It takes zinc processing. Right, so you need zinc to make brass. And I'm going to need zinc to get into all the ammo stuff because you need it for gunmetal. And there's our brass axe. You know, it seems like having zinc eventually would be nice. So let's let's research that. <clears throat> okay, what are we doing here? We are not... So we had intended to put this... Well, you know what? I don't care which side it goes on. That's actually perfect. That's that is the side we would want it on. Okay, so now you can output um, your input. Now you're finally outputting. You're making rail. Do we need to pick any up right now? Nope. And you're just not getting any because he's stealing it all. This extra long insert seems pointless. You're gonna get it on off there anyway. <clears throat> Let's just give you two inserters here. Then if you need to double up on anything else you can. I kind of wish I'd switch these around, give priority to the straight whale, but I mean, once we fill up this chest it's not going to be a problem. Alright, um, that should do it for this area. That's kind of what I wanted to do, be able to just kind of swing by and uh, grab whatever I needed. So let's get a little bit of lighting here, there and there. And I think we're ready to go to our tin. So the next thing we want to do is get our production going. So Farl, where are you? I wish I could label these. Uh, manual, manual. Or no, he's going to be on station. He's the guy with straight rail. So now, if I tell you to go to... I'm at Stone Drop right now, so please go there. I don't know which train you're complaining about, probably the one that just left. And now we can sit and wait for our train. And there we are, our train is here. Alright, um... This is the one I wanted. Stop doing whatever it was you're doing and I'm going to drive you. Okay, so we're going to want to turn around whenever we can. It might be nice to have a closer turnabout for manual driving. And get to our tin way up there. And we should probably build a whole ton electric mining drills, except we're going to run out of iron. Crap. Uh, we're going to go backwards on this rail. We're going to go pick up some iron. <coughs> we're going to leave this right here. And uh, if you don't like it, that's going to be too bad. So you're just going to reach... Okay. That should be plenty of iron. We can build 70. Doesn't feel like that many. We're going to run out of something else, aren't we? Not enough. Still iron. Wow. Those take a lot of iron. Oh, yeah, there we are. I can build 50 more. Oh, it's the gear wheels. I should have noticed that. No wonder. 
Well, we've got... Uh, oh, don't have enough backed up here. Or I guess they're, they're different. They can't uh, queue up quite as much. We've got to run. <clears throat> there we go. There. Build your own gear wheels. Silly. Why would you do that? Why would you ever think that was a good idea? How are we doing for signals? What? What? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, so bringing our Farl to random train stations apparently is a bad idea. And you're even out of coal, too. Oh, what a mess. All right, um, oh, look at that. Train signals. Straight rail. Coal. Oh, everything. All my stuff. Okay, how far did it make it? Okay, let's never, ever do that again. <laughs> So we're just going to sit here, grab all this good stuff. And then we're going to take all this stone that I don't need, put it back into chests. Okay. Did I get it all? No, it's still got coal coming out randomly. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> really wish I hadn't done that. Click, click. Forgot I can just shift click this stuff. That, 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 that. That, 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 that. That, 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 that. Okay, so once the boxes are cleaned out, I can go get anything else that might have made it onto the here, which actually looks okay. It's possible there's something hiding in one of these underground belts, but I don't think there is, so let's load you back up. Okay. Some electric poles, a bunch of straight rail. I'll keep a little bit for myself. Some curved rail. Signals, signals. That's good. Uh... Get enough coal. I think that looks good. All right, let's try this again. Uh, it's too much work to put smart inserters at those unloading stations. I mean, really, nothing else should be going there. Nothing else is supposed to be going there. All right, so tin is right over here. And two big deposits. How should we best build our train station? I think we're just gonna turn right about here. Let's say right here. And see how that works for us. All right. 
turn. Signal that up. Alright, uh, signals and poles. Go. I think I'm going to run across this south part of the deposit a little bit. That's okay. Past these trees. Ah, stop, stop, stop doing that. I no wonder I was having trouble picking up. Forgot you can't pick stuff up in the train. That really is annoying. No more trees. Alright, uh, no more poles. Start doing that. Clear all those trees out of the way. Don't interfere with anything here. Good, good, good. And then finish this off. Okay, signals. And we're good. Go back backwards. So this is tin silver. Um, yeah, we'll figure out how to build this. So this is where I really do wish I had those poison capsules. I thought I did, but what I really built was uh, defender capsules, which are really not that useful to me for clearing trees. A uh, shotgun might be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit. So yeah, we've this tin deposit here should be plenty. You know, I know I just built a bunch of mining drills, but the amount on this seems pretty low. I wonder if large area mining drills might be more effective for me. Seven by seven mining speed, 0.75. That's fine. So how many can I build? I can build 60. And if I build 60, I'm going to be out of circuits. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. So I'm actually going to do that offline. You guys have seen me build a, a drilling mining station before. It's it's not that exciting. So next episode we'll start once we've got this, um, this all ready to go. And we'll go and uh, do some tin, tin smelting. All right, this has been Nightingale. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, then please hit the like or subscribe buttons or leave a comment below. We will see you next time.